Well, hello and welcome to the last Saturday wrap of the year. For Saturday the 31st of December 2022, and of course I'm cheating, it's Friday the 30th. And the rain has stopped. Anyway, if you haven't seen these before, um, there are older ones. Um, you can still get them all on uh, the YouTube Brothers. And this is me looking back on the previous week. The beer, the politics, the tech, the things. And there's also the things that I've written down but I can't remember. These things happen to you when you get older. Up to me a lot, to be perfectly honest. Anyway, um, let's start with the word or phrase of the week. Now, considering it's nearly New Year's Eve and Christmas was last Sunday, my word or phrase of the week is neither of these. In fact, it was the lead up to Christmas and the dead period in between. It's winding down. I feel like I've been winding down towards the end of the year and I really need to take it easy and let just things just slip by me. Um, probably won't happen to be perfectly honest, but yeah, there is a, an atmosphere of complete and utter winding downness. And what should you do when you're winding down? Sit in the pub, watch the world go by and drink fine ales. Could be doing a lot of that. Anyway, um, the app of the week, strange one this one, is because as from New Year's Day, it's going away, which is a great shame. It's Dark Sky, already gone from Android, um, and it is now going to go from iOS, although the API for the website, I think, is around for a little while longer. It was never very good at long-term forecasting, but what it had was weather radar. And it was very good in telling you it's going to start and it's going to stop and I'm going to miss it. I'm going to have a crack at carrot weather. They have a layout that's called inline, which will give you basically... Yeah, the same thing. And I think you can, uh, if you pay the extra bit, you can get the um, weather kit API so you can get their forecasting or you can use different forecasting. Yeah, it's going to cost me, but I'm a bit of a weather yeah, person. I love talking about the weather, complaining about the weather, weather warnings, weather is weather plus. So it's going away, uh, uh, and I don't think the Apple Weather app is quite the same, not really, but it's free, or more correctly, at no extra cost. Anyway, um, the thing of the week, yeah, now this was good. Um, the World Cup was good, but football is back. The Premiership, the Championship, the Scottish, the, the Welsh... And it's really nice. And the airwaves are filmed with people talking nonsense about nonsense. And I love it. It is really good. Um, and you feel back in back in the saddle. Things are progressing. Things are going to go. The next thing you know, it'll be May and it'll be the FA Cup. And you'll say it's never the same. But there you go. So, um, the Rona. Yeah. The Rona's still there. China and the Rona. Um, should we test people before they come into the country? Well, the consensus, and I possibly agree with this, is we have enough of the same variant as they have. I think it's BA7. It's not going to make a great deal of difference, and a great deal of them are not going to come here anyway. Well, who knows? Um, and we have to get on with it. We really do. Uh, such a day. Anyway... Last week. Last week, Christmas Eve, Newport. Uh, the little tap house. Arthur Daly walks in. It's quite funny. I only ever see him either on Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve. And it's in a pub in Newport. And we end up talking beer. And we did. And it was enjoyable. Old times, good times, future times. Beer times. And I've got something here that says, on Sunday, blocked users. And I can't for the life of me, 
think what it is i haven't blocked users i might have been blocked um or oh, the only thing i can think it possibly is is mastodon i'm on no agenda social which is blocked by quite a lot of people because as adam curry said there's some crazies on there and they deserve to be kicked off possibly that's it but you know things um also on sunday christmas day amazon showed me things that i might like that were on sale including a pregnancy testing kit really i gotta be honest i don't think i'm getting pregnant i could be wrong but i think i'm pretty white on that one sort of thing um and also as is christmas turkey my mini crown what a great success just enough for me and two or three cold ones in the past I used to use a huge crown and then end up throwing it away with it not all eaten because it was too big and i'm sure it used far more gas to heat up um so mini crowns mini crowns are the way forward definitely and of course when you have turkey on christmas day you go on social media and insert the name of your supermarket outlet here ruined christmas my turkey was off my turkey was rotten my turkey was discolored my turkey was rubbish christmas is destroyed people crying yeah get with the program to be perfectly honest but yeah i can understand that but you know you have chip pans or air fryers this year i believe is the big thing but what can you do anyway boxing day start the 2023 spreadsheets um wipe out all last year's stuff start putting new year's stuff in there and that'll be ongoing until at least well day after new year's day the bank holiday monday yeah and also after I went to see Willie, came back, seed ordering, seed ordering for him, seed ordering for me, and some of the seeds have already arrived. I'm amazed, to be perfectly honest. Thank you, DT Brown. Really, really, really good. Tuesday, um, I started buying films, um, cheap charts. Tells you what's cheap in iTunes, so I can watch them through the Apple TV. And there was this one about Mars called Red Rover. Turns out, he's a spoiler. They never get to Mars. They don't leave Toronto. But if you like your sci-fi, especially at the Expanse, Cara G is in it. Kamina Drummer. Uh, she plays a little bit of a crazy person. It's really good. It's a bit of a bittersweet romantic comedy, and I quite liked it because, yeah, there was a lot of bit of tech in there. And, um, well, Canada. Red Rover. I'd recommend it um, uh, because it's eclectic. Wednesday, booking Beano's for January. CES starts on the Thursday of next week. Um, Friday, I'm going to be away. Um, Hereford, Beer House, uh, Rain and all that sort of thing. I don't like January and February. In fact, they really get on my nerves. So as many beaners as you can have and it speeds them along and that is good really is good also on wednesday matt thomas do you want to come out for a drink went to the fox and hounds in Llan harry a new drinking hole pipe works which i've been wanting to go to for ages that's in pont de clean yeah and some beers and then it was mr and mrs kev it all was really rather good and i enjoyed it Matt needs to start drinking real ale, so. Uh, he was a designated driver. I was the designated drinker. Yeah. Yesterday, the sad passing of Pele. As far as I'm concerned, the best footballer in the world, the best person in the world to represent football. Uh, Brazilian. He's going to be missed. Definitely going to be missed. And today, going home from work, Popped into Brad D. Tuttle. I think if you watched this last week, you'll know that I won. Not quite sure how, although I do know now. Um, some beers and some glasses from Brad D. Tuttle. Turns out it was one of their uh, like and share things. But I like and share them anyway, so that makes no difference. But I won it, and I was all fair and square. And I bought some extra beers from them just in case uh, I get snowed in or whatever. Anyway, um, Bragdy Tutlal, 
the brewery of little laughs titters that sort of thing excellent beers um i want another lol fest i want to sit in the corner banging on some beatbox slightly out of tune and trying to sing and failing and well there's 5g there as well which is good so uh, that is the end of my year tomorrow popping into newport chips beer maybe even a mince pie who knows anyway thank you very much for watching and comments as per usual um bye bye i think is the technical term let's see if this switches off